Welcome to Kathy's Eclectic Garden. I'm Kathy and I garden in Zone 5B, 6A in Northwest Ohio. I'm currently working on a series of videos that highlight plants that are thriving in my garden. We'll be right back. Agastache, commonly called anise hyssop, giant hyssop, and hummingbird mint. That's what we're going to be talking about today. The scientific name is Agastache funiculum, and it's hardy in zones 5 to 9. It's a perennial in the mint family that likes full sun to part shade, and it blooms in the summer, mid to late summer, and in the fall. Information will tell you it gets two to three feet tall and one to two feet wide, but mine every year gets at least four feet tall, sometimes closer to five or six. And it gets at least three feet wide, sometimes four to five, so it must really like where it's growing. It has average water needs and will survive a drought. It's low maintenance. I plant it. I don't do anything to it. You can deadhead it when the blooms start to fade but they don't look bad so I leave them when it's blooming it's loved by bees and hummingbirds and any other kind of pollinating insect you can think of it's usually covered in insects and then once the blooms are gone the birds take after it for the seeds so I don't even bother deadheading mine let's see what else do I know about Agastake oh it smells good it's got a kind of a licorice smell and if you get if you're working around it, it, it smells really good. It's native to the upper Midwest and the Great Plains, so it's native in our area. I grow mine usually from seeds. They like a cold, moist stratification. It helps them to germinate. You don't have to do that, but it, it does help them to germinate. And they need light to germinate, so you can just sprinkle the seeds on the ground and just kind of pat them in a little bit. And I winter sow mine in, I'm in plastic jugs. You really don't have to if you after you get it started growing it will self seed it's not invasive it won't self seed a lot and so it keeps coming back every year it has purple and white flowers uh, or kind of a my the one I've got is called blue fortune and it's got kind of a pale bluish purplish uh, spiky flower on it I just really like it it's, it's one of my favorite plants in the garden I have a lot of favorite plants in my garden though so if you want a good pollinator plant that smells good and grows well and is low maintenance, go get you some Agastache. I think you'll like it. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Join us again for the next one. Bye.